Hello and welcome. Today I want to focus on a sixth grade social studies objective that focuses on early humans. I specifically want to look at a case painting activity that I do with my classroom. This is a progressive activity, which means it starts as a whole class, then goes to small groups, and then the students have an independent activity. As always, I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for notification so that you don't miss out on any of these unique teaching ideas. So step one of my cave painting activity is a virtual tour. And I like to conduct this as a whole class activity so that I can pause on each of the cave paintings and talk about why the students think that the early humans utilize these symbols or pictures to represent their culture of the time. We also talk about what they think the early humans used to create their paintings and then why in the world have these drawings lasted for as long as they have. Now some of my students have been super excited about this upcoming topic so they've done some pre-research and have a pretty good idea on some of this conversation and for others it's just a great way to get them super excited about the upcoming hands-on activity. Step two in our cave painting activity is a web quest that I found on TBT and I'll be sure and link that down in the description box below. Now my students do have an option here which each one gets to make themselves. They can work in small groups with partners or independently to complete this web quest. This is a very educational web quest which is about eight questions long and it also helps support those research skills. Then I move on to the hands-on experience that all of the students are excited for. So first I give my students a paper bag and I show them how to cut it correctly. I do not prepare these paper bags for my students beforehand because it's part of their project. I do keep a couple of extra sandwich paper bags on hand just in case we have some oopsies because we normally do. Once everyone's bag is finished, we then crumple them up and then uncrumple them. And this just puts a little bit more texture to the bag like you would actually find in a cave. Once we're done with that part, the students have some choices to make. Where are they gonna conduct their painting? Are they going to just do it on the top of their desk area like they were painting on the floor of a cave? Are they gonna tape it underneath the table like they were painting on the roof of a cave? Or are they going to tape it on the wall like they were painting on the wall of the cave? So I just wanna make this experience as realistic as possible for the students. Also, just to kind of point out, I have used paints, of course, with this activity, but I've also used markers, and that just kind of depended on the funds that I personally had available to go and spend on this activity. So don't ever think that you have to spend more money than you have to complete the activity. They enjoyed the markers just as much as they liked the paint. This is a great way to help social studies come alive for your students. I know my video today was a little short. I do try to make my videos more towards the point just to help you be able to locate the information that you like in them to incorporate into your classroom. If this works for you, please go ahead and give my video a thumbs up and don't forget to come back for the next one. Also, if you missed any of my older videos, there will be some links at the end of this one, so be sure and click on those and check those out. Thank you so much for watching. And remember to be proud of your work productive in your day, and positively joyful.